All right, so chapter four, matrices and determinants. We're going to start with the uh, basic matrix operations in 4.1. It's basically what we are on right now. So a matrix is basically a rectangular arrangement of numbers in rows and columns is what a matrix is. Dimensions normally go in this order, so when you see the two numbers side by side, so you understand what they mean. It's rows by columns. Rows go across, columns go up and down. All right, so it's rows by columns. Very simple. When you have two matrices, you literally add, when you're adding matrices, you add the positions. 5 plus negative 3 is 2. 8, negative 18 plus 10, negative 8. Negative 14 plus negative 1 is negative 15. Literally, you add the matrices together uh, from position to position. Okay. That's it. So example two, it doesn't matter the shape of how they look, you still add them in order. 7 plus 5 is 12. Negative 1 plus 18 is 17. 20 plus 13 is 33. 19 plus negative 14 is 5. And you just put them in the, per, uh, the matrix. That's all you're doing. You're just adding according. Subtraction is the same way. 17 minus 20. Um, just remember, it's like saying plus a negative 20. So 17 plus a negative, that's a negative now. That's now a positive. So now when you take it through, it's just like uh, regular old addition. 17 plus a negative 20 is negative 3. 4 plus a negative 16 is negative 12. 16, negative 16 plus 0 is negative 16. 11 plus 6 is 17, and you put it in the matrix. That's it. It's all adding and subtracting. Hey, Bart, come get some dinner. All right. Um, now with this, when you have a number on the outside like this, you have a 2, you have to distribute that through. So you need to distribute that 2 through to every single item. So it's 2 times 19. We're making a new matrix. That's 38. 2 times 8, that's 16. 2 times negative 12, that's negative 24. 2 times 20, that's 40. And there is your new matrix plus your other one. Now all you do is add them together. So 38 plus 3, 41. 16 plus 15, 31. Negative 24 plus 6, negative 18. 40 plus 14, 54. And there is your answer inside the matrix. So the point is, um, when you're doing this, you just need to multiply everything through. That's really all you have to do first, and then add everything together. So with something like this, um, what you need to do is according to order of operations. So I need to combine these inside the parentheses first. So 3x plus 4. Here's the problem. It's 3x plus 4, right? Okay, well, I can't really put a 3x and a 4 together, so I write it as 3x plus 4. I have a negative 1 and a 1. When I add those together, I get 0. I have an 8 and a negative 2. That's 6. I have 5 and a negative y. There's nothing I can do besides put them together and get 5 negative y. Those are my matrix. I have a 2 now on the outside, and it equals everything on this side. I now need to take that 2 through to every single item. So 2 times that whole first item is 2 times the quantity of 3x plus 4. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 5y is 2 times the quantity of 5y. That is now my matrix, and all that equals um, the end matrix. Now here's the point. The point that I'm getting at is we actually have um, equations that we can solve. This item equals 26. So when I distribute that through, 2 times 3 is 6x, 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times negative y is negative 2y. I can literally now set this equal to 26 and solve. So 6x plus 8 equals 26. This equals 8. So now I can sit there and solve each of those. So to solve this, since it's a plus 8, I will subtract 8 to both sides. The 8's cross out, leaving you 6x equals 18. I can divide both sides by 6 and get x equals 3. 
Over here, I want to solve for y, which means i got to get rid of the 10. So since that is a positive 10, I will subtract 10 on both sides. I get negative 2y equals negative 2. If I divide both sides by negative 2, I'll get y equals 1. So basically, I solved each equation for x and y using the matrices doing everything step by step. What are you going to do today, Napoleon? Whatever I feel like I want to do. Go! All right, so this year for the individuals, the comprehensive, the HMO standard, the HMO plus coverage, it goes accordingly. So for uh, the, this is comprehensive co coverage, HMO standard, and HMO plus. For families, this is the order. This is comprehensive, HMO standard, HMO plus. The next year, these are the prices in the same order. So what it's saying is organize the data into matrices. Well, I can go by this year. And there's individual and families. We had the comprehensive coverage. We had the HMO plus coverage. We had HMO. All you need to do is fill everything in. Comprehensive individual was the following, the 694.32, so I filled it in that way. HMO for the individual was 451, and HMO plus was 489. Then the following year, it was for the, uh, or actually in the same year for the families, it was 1725 for comprehensive, 1187 for HMO, right? It says it right there, 1187 for families, and so on. Um, there's your first matrix. The next one is the following year for the individual, and the following year for comprehensive, right? 683, 683. 463, 463 for HMO individual. It kind of like follow it across, right? HMO crosses with individual, so HMO individual goes in that point. And anyway, there are my two matrices. Have you heard about the dance? Yes. There's your homework. Have you anyone to ask yet? I don't uh, think any of you will have a hard time doing um, this section at all. It's basic addition, basic multiplication, and basic subtraction. You should have absolutely no problems doing this. Just remember to line everything up. The key that I did not talk about here is you can't add matrices or subtract matrices together if they do not have the same exact dimensions. Please keep that in mind. The dimensions need to be the same when doing these problems. If you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to email me.